In this Trading 212 tutorial, I'll show you how to use the mobile app to find, buy, and sell assets on Trading 212. And this start guide is meant for total beginners, so I'm going to take it step by step so that you understand everything. If you're going to use mostly the platform on desktop, then click on this video banner for the web platform tutorial. Hello, finance people. My name is Robert, and I'm here to share my learnings and experience about personal finance as a European. So once you've gone through the sign up process with all the verifications and so on, you land on this page. If you haven't signed up, go to this link right here or click on the first link in the description. And if you sign up through that link, you should also get one free uh, stock with uh, when you deposit money to Trading212. So once you sign up and you log in, you land on this page. This is basically your kind of my watch list type of thing. You have top movers immediately, but also you can just uh, scroll here and choose other options. Now, you're not going to spend too much time here, maybe in the watch list. But first of all, I just want to show you a few uh, things. If I tap on the top left corner here and then you see you have two uh, account types, you have the invest and the CFD. And then if you're in the UK, you see third one, which is ISA. And uh, basically invest and ISA are exactly the same one. But uh, the ISA one is more beneficial for you if you're in UK. Uh, it's, it is individual savings account it is a tax efficient savings or investment account available for the UK residents. Uh, basically, it exempts you from paying capital gains and dividend taxes on your investment. So if you're in the UK, check out the ISA. Uh, I would use that one if you're starting out. But also check what you need for ISA because you cannot, if you already have an ISA account somewhere else, uh, you cannot do it on Trading 2 on 2. So you need to uh, look into it a little bit, but definitely worth it. Then the biggest difference between invest and CFD is just simply that in invest, you actually own the asset. Whereas with CFDs, you just own a contract to that asset. So the benefit of CFDs is that you have more options. You have commodities, you have Forex also, and you're able to use leverage. So you're able to borrow money from trading to on two and use that for your investments. So if your investment goes, uh, if the investment goes higher up, so for example, a stock, that means you're going to gain more money. But also if it goes down, you're going to lose more money. So it, you got to be really careful with uh, when leveraging. And another thing you can do in CFD is also you can short a stock. So that means uh, you're betting that the stock will go down in price instead of up. So if it goes down, you make money. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use the invest. Uh, you also have the play account. So let me close this one. Trading on 2 and 2 also comes with a play account, which means basically it's a fake money. So to see that, you can come and tap on the menu, uh, hamburger menu here at the top right bottom and it is somewhere here you have here at the bottom switch to practice if you press on that then everything you do is is fake you're not actually owning the assets it's just fake money but it acts uh, as a, a playground this just enables you to play around and see if you like this platform so first of all what we need to do is get you a free uh, share so if you tap on this get free shares you'll notice that you can invite friends and that way you get some free shares uh, but also, if you go back and scroll down, where is it? Use a promo code. So if you use this promo code, I'll leave it in the description. It should be somewhere at the top of the video description. If you enter it here and you use it, you're going to get a one free share if you deposit money to tra Trading212. Uh, and that way you can start already investing with that one, uh, one share. But still, it's something, right? So let's go back. And the next thing you want to do when you're starting out, you probably want to deposit some money. In. And it's pretty easy on trading two on two. So let's tap on deposit funds. And here you can see that you have a few different options. The bank transfer is always free, uh, but you have, if you want to starting out, you have some options. You have up until 2000 euros. You don't have any fees with uh, your credit card, Apple Pay, or in this case, I'm in Netherlands, so I see Ideal. You don't get any fees, but above 2000, you're going to get this 0.7% uh, fee, which makes no sense to take. I would just use bank transfer if that's some, if you need to deposit some money. Uh, otherwise, uh, when starting out, you can try it out with the other, uh, other payment methods. So I would just go from here and add funds. During editing, I noticed that I didn't explain how to do the bank transfer because there's a few steps that you need to do. So let me show you. Let's say you want to do bank transfer. You just 
click on this one. And then from here, you enter your IBAN number. This is just a, some number I grabbed as an example. And then you click on confirm. And now it's added to, to here, to this view. Now you can click on this one and you can select few things. So you select your currency, then you go here and you see this number. This is super important because you need to put it in your payment reference as a payment reference. Yeah. Without it, a trading tool to won't know that this is your account. It, it won't know how to link it. And the rest of the details is here. Uh, in my case, I just needed the beneficiary name and also the IBAN number. But in your case, it might be slightly different because this account is in Frankfurt, Germany. Uh, so it was quite easy when I did it. And then you just go to your banking app and fill in the details and send the money to Trading202. And then they say it can take up to two days for, for them to arrive, but usually it's faster. Let's close this and that way. But let's pretend you now have the money and you deposit it. So you probably at this point would like to also find a stock. So to find any stocks on the app is pretty simple. You just tap on the search icon here at the bottom. It's in the middle. And now we can search for anything we want. So for example, if we're looking for Tesla stock, I would just type in Tesla. There you go. I have Tesla and NASDAQ, and then I have Tesla Deutsche Börse Extra. Now that's kind of weird. Why do we have two Teslas? But Actually, Tesla is traded on two exchanges, one in NASDAQ in US and one in Germany. If you're in Europe, I would go and buy the Tesla stock from the German exchange because you're buying it in euros. That way you avoid the uh, uh, currency fees. It's quite low. I think it's 0.15%. So it's quite a small percentage. So after the two stocks, you have also some ETFs. These are leveraged ETFs for Tesla. So you see there's a, a 3x long. That means if the uh, price goes up, uh, it's, you know, triple the profit because it's three times leverage. Whereas the other one leverage shares 3x short means it's this ETF is betting that the Tesla stock goes down and then you make money and it leveraged by three. So I wouldn't get into this if you're a first timer. It's really risky because yes, you can make triple the money, but you can lose the money even quicker and gaining money back is harder than actually uh, making more money. So uh, I wouldn't start with that. I would definitely start with one of the stocks. So let's say we want to look at the uh, Tesla stock and NASDAQ, the US dollar one. I would come here and now I can buy it. But before we buying it, we obviously want also take a look at the uh, what this entails, what, what kind of, you know, metrics we have here. So we obviously start with the price. Uh, then it tells it's in dollars. The other one in German uh, exchange would say euros. And then today it, it dropped by 3%. And here you have some graphs. You can take a look. You can tap on three months, one year, and so on. Take a look at uh, price alerts if you want to set some. And you have some stats. Now, interesting things here is to look at if there's any dividend yields. Tesla doesn't pay any dividends. So that's why you see it's, it's just it's nothing. Um, then you have some PE ratios and things like that. Once you get into this, you'll understand a bit more about these metrics. Uh, and then you have some uh, more financials if you want to open it up. And then you have some, well, the about section you also have here if, if that's something interesting. The thing here. Most of you will research your stock somewhere else, not on the uh, trading platforms. I wouldn't worry th about this too much. So that's why I'm going to keep it short. And let's just pretend we're going to buy this stock. So I'm going to tap on buy. Here we can set the value. So I can just, you know, uh, look, I want to buy this with, I guess I only have 40 euros left, so I can only buy with this amount. This would give me 0.18 share. So on uh, trading two on two, you can buy fractional shares. So you don't need to always buy one share at the time. You can actually buy 1.1 share or 300.33 shares or whatever you want. You can divide it that way. So if you only have a little amount to invest, you can still invest in, you know, in Tesla without paying the, uh, the whole $240. Now, in some cases, you want to also just change the value to number of shares. In this case, I can only buy not even one share because I, I just don't have anything on my account right now. But you can see from here, it works the same way. Let's go back to value. Here, if you tap on these weird dots, you can also just go and type it in how much you want to buy. Let's say 29 euros. That's what you can buy. Then you can see here on the left, you have the euro sign and it's just telling you to, you can deposit money from here. Now, I could just go and review this order, but I want to show you a few things here. So here at the top, you have market limit, stop and stop limit. These are types of orders you can make. So market just buys it at the market price at that moment. So it, it doesn't it doesn't look at anything else. But for example, limit, you can say, hey, well, actually, I want to buy 
let's say 0.1 shares and I want to pay at maximum uh, I'm going to pay price let's say if it dips to 230 then I want to buy this stock yeah so if it dips to 230 I want to buy this stock so only at that point it will execute the, the, the order so if you want to wait for it to drop to a certain amount you could set it from here and not only that but you could also set expiration for you from here never maybe you're just waiting that it will drop today to a certain level then you can say end of day and after this it will just cancel so if it doesn't uh, if that price doesn't drop enough in during the same day then it will just cancel the order but most cases you'll just say never so let's say this is what we want to do we can now tap on review order and from here uh, you just review what you're, you're doing here and hey I forgot to mention that you can see the fees here you have the commission in this case it's free and also I got some FX fees just because I'm buying an asset in dollars although I have only euros on my account and I'm gonna just send buy order and if I scroll down you see the pending orders here and I have 0.1 shares here and you know it's waiting for that 230 to come and then it can execute the order but let's go back let's say I'm gonna just close this search bar and I'm gonna go to my home from here I'm gonna go to my portfolio so that's the uh, the icon here in here you see that hey my I actually let's say I want to get rid of my uh, coinbase share I only have one share but what if I want to get rid of it so I want to sell it that's quite simple you just come to an you know to this order and you tap on sell and now I could say hey let's do this in market order or again limit so if it goes to certain price then just sell it let's say I wanted to <clears throat> I want to wait for it to go as a high up as 160 then execute the order and then sell my stock that's how easy it would be so let's review the order take a look yeah no commissions great you see the fx fee they're going to charge me 22 cents for this order so it's good to take a look at these uh, to notice that how much you're paying in terms of conversion fees so just keep an uh, eye on this if you're buying a lot how much you're actually paying in conversion fees or would it be better to buy something in your in your currencies like uh, we saw the tesla that is sold on european stock exchange so let's send sell order okay now we know how to buy and sell a uh, stock here in trading 212 but let's take a look at some quite unique feature that uh, they offer which is buys so from here i'm going to tap on the two dudes uh, that icon and then i'm going to tap on buys so you see here terms and conditions i confirm uh, and the buys are quite unique to trading 212 they're basically just baskets of stocks and some other people on trading to to want to have created this so it doesn't mean they're professionals or they're you know created by somebody but they're created so for example here we have uh one pie that is almost daily in dividends so if you want to get every day uh dividend payments you could invest into this pie so if i tap on it you can see what they are investing in so the all of these are the the stocks that are part of this pie and you can see there's a lot of them and all of them are about two percent uh, investment two percent so you can see that you're gonna get certain amount of dividends every time but if you have some your own ideas you can also create your own uh, pies here so if you want to create your own pie then you have to go back to your portfolio so you, you tap on that uh, pie chart there on the top you have investments and pies if you tap on pies you can create a pie I already created a test pie so let's create another one I'm gonna tap on the plus here and now I can add instruments to it so let's say I don't know I want to create a electric vehicle company so I'm gonna look for Tesla let's add it to Pi then let's look for Rivian so I'm gonna add it to add these actually here at the bottom you need to tap on this arrow otherwise it doesn't add them so now you can see I have two pies there and I can adjust how my, how many percentages I add let's say I want to mostly Tesla let's say 70 percent and then the Rivian could be the, the rest so let's say 30 like this so if you're happy with this you set up your own pies uh, and you tap on next from here you can uh, choose how you invest so you can set auto invest or manual so auto invest just you need to deposit money automatically to to trading to own to later on really I, I recommend using this so that you can automate some of the investing but for now let's choose manually and then if you tap on next we can give this a name uh, e-vehicles create a pie and there you go my pie is now live now there's no money in it so I would need to come here and invest into it so I can add money to it right now I only have three euros left so 
I could now invest this and confirm and buy and it will buy that little tiny amount of uh, Tesla and Rivian and it will just invest uh, proportionally into that. So you see they're done. I have three euros worth of stocks now in this buy. So quite unique asset, especially later on once you want to build your own kind of a portfolios, it will also automatically kind of try to adjust the amounts. So if Tesla starts growing a lot, it will start adjusting so that Rivian doesn't uh, fall behind a lot. Now, I've been investing for the last six years and there are a few mistakes that I really wish I hadn't made. Without them, uh, my portfolio would have been probably double the size. That's why I created this video right here, so you can avoid losing time and money by making the same mistakes I did.